Public sales? It would save us a lot of running around to sell goods if we could get the customers to come to us? Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. I actually had no idea that you could open your own shop. Hello reformers and welcome back to Kenshi. Now when we left off we were attempting to train our martial arts skill a little bit, attempting to get our toughness up somewhat, and indeed we did. Now I do have a prisoner still in my possession as you can see here, and we're going to try and level up our skills by sparring with her as much as we can. But while she recovers from the various fights that we partake in, I'm going to be doing a little bit of this. And you may be thinking, oh, what are you doing? It seems like you're doing something very, very strange. Well, yes, it does look like that, but that is only because I have nowhere to basically put her at the moment. Because if I put her down, she's just going to escape, and it's going to mean big, big trouble for me, because I don't exactly know whether the guards will take kindly to that. But anyway, point is, I'm doing some mining, Gonna get some copper, gonna get some money. You can see here that my money has dwindled significantly since the previous episode, and there's a very, very good reason for that. As you can see, if we take a quick trip over here to the far edge of town, if I can actually maneuver this camera appropriately, you can see that I've actually bought one of the ruined buildings in here. I'm just gonna pause because we actually have maximum amount of copper that I can do there and then there we go. Just gonna continue to do that. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty amazing in my opinion because what I've been doing is I've been mining some copper, I've been going to the merchant, buying some building materials and then coming back to my building and placing that and trying to repair it. As you can see here, the building condition is at 91% completion, and all I need is another two building materials. Now, building materials aren't actually that expensive, but I only have space for two of them in my inventory at a time. And so I'm taking a, a bit of a, shall we say, a bit of advantage at the fact that I don't have that much inventory space for that, and I'm just getting more copper just before we complete our building here and this building I believe cost me 3,600 uh, cats I believe it is cats are the the money in uh, in Kenshi and uh, <laughs> I know it sounds a bit weird right yeah because I'm, I'm just like cats dogs lizards oh, I don't exactly know but no no it's, it's cats but yes anyway the point is is that I'm gonna be attempting to set up a reasonably rudimentary way of gaining money and being able to well just have a little bit of a business going on and the business is going to be import export and mainly we're going to be focusing on the importing of copper by recruiting a whole bunch of people and then having them go and mine the copper now thanks to those of you in the comments that actually did mention this idea because i would never have thought of this this is absolutely amazing the amount that you can do in this game is really quite fantastic now obviously i did not know about it which is a bit of a shame didn't know about it without someone actually telling me so I guess that's one of the flaws that you're going to have in a game like this that is in early access still and it's just it just has so many different systems. The systems are going to be insanely in depth and hopefully I'm going to be able to get in here before it closes. Yeah, there we go. Hello there. Okay, yes. Here to buy? Yes, yes. well, I'm here to sell, actually. He has 25,000, this guy. And as you can see, he has building materials. I only need another two, so I'm just going to sell a whole bunch of copper here. And that means I'll be back up to almost 1,900. Not too bad. We can buy two of these. These are only 77, which is really, really cheap for what they do. And he sells a whole bunch of other things, but yeah, for now we don't really need to worry about that. And I haven't actually gone into the bars just yet, because apparently we need to go into the bars to find some people to recruit, and then we're going to be able to set them to work mining some copper for us. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that works, because I'm not entirely sure how it works just yet. But anyway, let's add our materials here. And then we're going to have to get Beartilled on repairing the rest, as you can see here. It will start to increase. I'm just going to speed up the time a little bit and the 
little progress meter will advance at a bit of a better pace. And we're going to be, I'm going to be very excited to see what we're actually able to do here. Okay, so there you go. We are now done, and this is our building. We own this. Isn't that amazing? Wouldn't it be amazing if actual real-life property development was as easy as this? Yeah, it would be pretty awesome. And as cheap, and as cheap, let me just tell you that, because, oh, buying a house nowadays, never. Never, never be able to do that. But 30 years ago, maybe 40 years ago, yeah, easy. Easy. Anyway, let's see if we can do something here. Mm, okay, so what we need to do. What we need to do is we need to get some research. So we're going to get a small research bench. Ah, yes. Okay, so here's the thing. I need three building materials. Unfortunately, that, that shop is probably going to be closed by now. But anyway, let's see if I can place this somewhere decent. I don't want to place... Yeah, I'm going to place it around here. Can I... Wait a minute, how do I rotate? Ah, okay, so that's how I rotate it. Okay, interesting. Okay, so... Wait wait a second. Wait a second. Did, what is actually going on here? What is actually... What's actually going on with all that stuff? Okay, I, I don't exactly know, but... Anyway, let's select this, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit. I'd like to rotate it around... Um, maybe like this, and then we'll just place it here. There you go. And we're going to confirm that, and then... Wait. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, I actually thought that it was just going to give me kind of like a blueprint. And then I could just add to the blueprint as time went on. But unfortunately... Oh, wait a minute. Did it actually do that when I unpaused? Did it actually do that? Yes, it did. There you go. Okay, never mind. I just had to unpause. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the tutorial here. Select your construction once the condition bar is full. Yeah, okay. Well, yes, we've already, we've already kind of figured that out. Thank you very much. All right. So let us go over to the little shop here, which, by the way, I did attempt to do a little bit of lockpicking. Yes, I did try to do a little bit of lockpicking over here, but let me just say, it's probably not the best idea because there's a guard that comes by here every now and again, and, well, suffice it to say, he was not best pleased, and so kind of had to reload that because I, I, I didn't really... I was just trying it out, basically. I was just trying it out, and I wanted to see how it would go. Now, I'm actually thinking maybe we want to do a little bit of sparring right now, because we can do that. That might actually make sense. Okay, so she actually doesn't have... Yeah, it's auto-saving, thank you very much. She actually doesn't have any food in her inventory right now, so it might make sense for us to actually go out and do that right here. And uh, I actually did see a whole bunch of... Uh, what is it now? Dust bandits, I believe? Who's this? Uh, these guys are herbivores, so I don't have to worry about them, thank you very much. Okay, so let me see. I've got to be a bit careful here. I really don't want to have people attack me out of nowhere, so I'm going to try and go a little bit further away from the town. Oh, there's the town. Oh, yes, I went all the way around. Isn't that amusing? Okay, so it's the middle of the night. This is the, usually the best time for some people to get their stuff done, whatever they want to get done. And I'm going to put it down. And we're going to... Oh! <laughs> she's, she's flying. She's, she's flying a little bit. And we're going to see if we can do a little bit of sparring with her. I think that should be pretty fun. And it will also... Yeah, get a little bit of the time to, you know, go and progress onward. So let's see if I can attack her soon. All right, so attack. Yeah, go. Go, Bertild. Yes. Okay, well this is this is not particular. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now that now they're in now they're in a fight. That's what we like to see. Okay, so now I do have to be a bit wary here because if if some of her comrades, in other words, other bandits decide to appear, we are going to have some difficulties. I feel. So let's just speed this up a little. I just want to make sure that I'm not gonna not gonna have too many issues. Okay, actually wait a minute. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit like this, and then we'll be able to see a little bit better as to what's actually going on. But unfortunately we're not able to see the fight as much, which is really kind of a shame because I would like to be able to see what's going on there. 
So maybe we should just zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so we're doing pretty well in terms of our HP right now. We're we're not doing too badly. Whoa, that was a that was a nice hit. That was a nice hit right there. Okay, yeah, we're we're not doing too badly. I mean, what's cool about this is that we're actually going to level up our skills together. So we're both going to get more powerful as time goes on. And uh, I'm actually wondering whether I'm going to lose this. Wouldn't that be amusing? Oh, oh, that's a that's some nice damage. That's some nice damage, Bear Till. Come on now, you can do this. Oh, he's he's taking he's taking quite a bit of damage right here. I'm a bit worried. I am a bit worried. Okay. I mean, this is the main reason why we want to do this. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, we are having some issues. We are definitely having some issues. Okay. Come on, Bear Tilt. You can do it. We are behind you. We are behind you. Yes, we are. Well, he's doing he's doing a good he's doing good jobs right here. <laughs> good jobs, yes. Okay, please don't please don't die, Bear Tilt. It would be absolutely awful if you were to die right now. Okay, so that's some nice damage. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, no, don't take any more damage than that, Bear Tilt. This is not good. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Nice. A little bit of extra damage here and there. Don't take... Uh... If enemies are still nearby, a character may play dead in order to avoid further fighting and injury. To get up, right-click to move. Just make sure there are no enemies around. Oh, uh, well, yes, yeah, so, so she is going to escape, which is, I, I, I mean, that's the point. I really don't mind who escapes or, or wherever, but it, it's just that it's going to reduce my ability to gain my martial arts skill, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So, oh, uh, well, never mind. Okay, so we're slightly injured. Can I first aid myself? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to first aid myself a little bit here. Oh, well, I guess I don't have to worry too much about being, well, having to look after her anymore, I guess. Uh, it's kind of a shame, really, that we had that happen, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so we're just going to have to let our injuries recoup themselves, but it's cool. It's absolutely fine, because we are now almost ready for the store to open, and that store will hopefully be able to give us the wonderful building materials and I actually do need to go up here to get this copper and we're gonna go and retrieve it and then sell it obviously the machine is full yes I understand that but can I can, oh I can take it from here oh okay I had no idea that you could take it from there okay that's fantastic all right so let me the camera is very difficult for me to for me to actually maneuver here. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I have been using the auto tracking thing because I believe one of you has been insistent that I use the uh, the auto tracking thing where you double click on your portrait and then it just follows your character. And yes, I think that works really really well when I'm running around outside a town. But when you're in a town, it's a bit more difficult to use, especially at the angles that I'm using it at. So yes, anyway, that's just my my problem I think it's just I'm not very good at controlling the camera but anyway this is gonna open at about 10 past 7 as far as I'm aware and then we will be able to sell our copper and get the building materials there we go yes hello there yes I am looking to buy okay so yeah take all my take all my copper please and where's the where are your building materials ah oh, there they are okay so there's just an ah I don't have enough room are you serious do I really not? No, I'm sure I do now. Oh wow, that's that. Wow, that's a pretty big. That is, that is a pretty big building material right there. But I guess they are pretty large, so it is to be expected that we are going to need a pretty big inventory for that. All right, so let's go back to our house. I really should have bought, by the way, if you're playing alongside me, or if you've just bought this game because you've watched my videos, or whatever the case may be then I'd highly recommend, if you're going to do the same thing that I'm doing right here, then I'd highly recommend buying this one in the middle, because it requires much less running in between the store and your house. And so you don't need to run back and forth all the way to the other edge of town. And it's just a little bit of a, shall we say, convenience issue. So anyway, let's go back in here, and we're going to add our materials. And we're going to build it. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's appearing before our very eyes. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. 
Okay, so to learn new tech, you can buy blueprints from merchants, or you can research new tech yourself. To research, you must have a scientist assigned to your research bench. Select a squad member, hold and right click on your research bench, and select Use Machine. Research speed will depend on your assigned scientist's science skill stat. Wow, many S's. Next, you'll need to select Tech to research. Select any tech you want to research by left clicking it. You can queue up as many as you want. Aha! Okay, so Bear Tilt is gonna is gonna do this. Can he? C can he not? Can he not actually do that? Wait, maybe I just need to go to tech here. Yes, there we go. Okay, so item storage, fabric manufacturer. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Let's actually just take a quick look here and see what I need to do. Storage boxes. Hmm. Simple training dummies. I need one book to do to be able to do that. Not enough artifacts. Research cannot begin. Find artifacts and place them in your research bench. Okay. I have no idea what that means, but I guess we'll find out. Storage boxes. If a dude wants to haul a load of raw stone to the stone processor and his inventory is full of iron ore, what's he gonna do? Exactly. He needs some kind of storage box. Okay, so let's 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 do a let's do a storage box. Oh, he's gonna do that. Okay, so he's actually doing that. That's that's awesome. Okay, so that's gonna take two hours, which is literally nothing if, as long as I speed up time. And let me just see if there's anything else here. Item storage? What does that do? Okay, so that allows you to just do a whole bunch of other things. I actually don't know what, what this means, but okay. We'll do that. Public sales? It would save us a lot of running around to sell goods if we could get the customers to come to us? Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. I actually had no idea that you could open your own shop. I think that's pretty fantastic. Okay, so let's see. What else What else can we get here? Mm, right. Okay. Training. Okay, so I need a book. Where am I going to find a book from? I'm actually unsure where to find that from, because as far as I'm aware, that's also something that a couple of you suggested to do and get some get some simple training dummies. However, the issue with that is that, as you can see here, damn rookies are useless. Keep getting beat up because they can't hit anything. A basic training dummy would let them train their attack skills up to about level 5, which is not great. Level 5 is not great. I think I may already have my skills above that because of the sparring with the with the bandit. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going to go on there. But anyway, let's start to speed up and we'll see if we will be able to place a couple of storage boxes, at least for our copper. And maybe then we'll be able to recruit a couple of people. All right. So as you can see right here, we've unlocked a whole bunch of additional storage. And I think we might actually want to go for a just a general storage chest right here because this only requires two building materials easy enough for us to get and we can store anything in this chest. So I think that might make more sense than anything else. You can see right here as well that I've also laid out a couple of bedrolls and I thought to myself, okay, well, if we're going to be, you know, getting a bunch of people to actually work for us or whatever, then I think it would be a nice idea for us to do something like that. So I'm going to get two chests and just place them over there. I don't even know whether they're going to be any good, but uh, yeah, we're going to do something along those lines and we'll see what we can do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to rush over to the little area here to the uh, to the shop. Yes, that's what it's called. And we're going to go in there and buy some building materials. And hopefully we'll be able to do that. Hopefully he's restocked a little bit. Yes, there we go. We'll be able to buy three of these. And then we're going to make a stopover at one of the bars and we'll try and recruit someone. Now, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to do this because just bear in mind that I don't have... Uh, yes, the camera. There we go. There's a bar. Okay, so we're going to go in here. I don't have a lot of money, so... If they are willing, I mean, if they're willing to listen to some naked guy running around in his underwear, then I think, I think they'll be willing to take basically any money. So let's see what I can do here. I'm going to just pause real quick, just so I can see what's going on. Oron. Drifters. Okay. And Leaf. Okay. And Hex. Okay. 
So I'm not entirely sure which one of these wants to really join us, if any. So I guess I'm just going to ask... Bark. Okay, that sounds like a good name. Let's let's ask him. Scouting for recruits, flat skin. Uh, sure, how much? What? Uh, sorry, I don't have enough cats. Oh, what? what? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe there's going to be... Uh, this is the guy that I just asked, isn't it? Yes. Okay, I don't have enough cats right now. I'm, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm very, very poor at the moment. Th that's right. Ah, oh, okay, here we go. And perhaps it will be my chance to prove myself as a warrior rather than die a farmhand. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, um, I kind of want you to mine a little bit. Oh, what's this? Oh, this guy's asking me as well. Sure, how much? 6,000? What? Okay, that's crazy. How about earning yourself the loyalty of a Sheik warrior? Go on. I need to be freed. 3,500 cats to free me from my lord. Let me fight for you. As a mighty warrior once again. Peasant life is killing my soul. I need battle. Unfortunately, I'd like to be able to give these people a bit of a, a purpose. But, uh, yeah, it seems like 3,000 is the kind of limit that most of these people are willing to accept. An outsider? How exotic. I'm curious, outsider. Do you know much of the Shek custom? Uh, I know that Shek believe in honor through battle. Correct. Around here, a Shek's standing is measured in bravery and battle skill, as in the same footsteps of Kral. Foreigners are only tolerated in this town for their trade, under the Stone Golem's orders. Every Shek in this city is itching for a fight since she came to power, especially against an honorless foreigner like you. I suggest you keep your head down if you want to leave the city in one piece. I have more honor in my pinky than most Shek have in their whole body. If I want to die, then I'd probably say that. Sounds like a fun city. Then you'll fit in well around here. We live and breathe battle in the Shek Kingdom. Only through honorable battle can we gain passage to the Holy Lands. You'd do well to know our customs if you are to survive in this town. Okay, thanks for the advice. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to recruit anyone here, so that's not great. That's a shopkeeper. Going to probably buy some more food. That's basically what I can do, isn't it? I can buy some more dried meat, and I can buy some dried fish. That's a huge amount. I'm going to just, I'm just literally going to buy some dried meat because I really don't have much money, so we're just going to do that. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to improve my building a little bit. I'm going to make sure that I have some bedrolls and things like that. I'm also going to do a little bit more mining with the copper. And hopefully next time, in the next episode, we'll be able to recruit a couple of guys. And they can then help us to mine some copper as well. I thank you very much for watching and for all of your tips and tricks, by the way. Keep them coming. <laughs> Keep them coming. And I will see you next time.